Okay, so I'm down here in familiar territory for maybe a lot of people. I know I come here uh, probably too frequently. I'm down in the bowl uh, to the left of number 14 green here at Wiano. I'm gonna run everyone through three different shots that you can play to improve your scoring, help get up over this slope and onto the green so we can have a two putt for maybe a par or a bogey rather than the ball coming back down to our feet raising our scores on this 14th hole. Okay, so as we talked about previously in other videos, it's always great to have options around the green, but you need to be the most comfortable in the decision that you're making and the shot that you're choosing. For me, my personal preference here is to have a wedge in my hand. Now, I'm not taking my most lofted wedge. I'm not trying to hit a big flop shot up onto this green with a lot of loft. I'm actually taking a gap wedge and I'm playing a little bit more of a bump and run with a lofted wedge to try to get it up and stay on this green. I'm gonna show you now how I play that shot and then we'll run through playing this a little bit different shot with a lower lofted iron and a wood. So on this wedge shot, I'm trying to get a little bit of loft and a little bit of spin. So I'm focusing on my low point coming into the ball, like the contact, and I'm focusing on a spot on that hill that I can skip it into so that it will hit the hill, kind of die a little bit, lose some speed, and stay on the green. So I have a 50 degree wedge in my hand, which is a gap wedge, and I'm gonna try to play this ball middle of my stance, narrow stance, and a short, compact, rotational swing to try to make this happen. Okay, so my next option is a little bit of the same shot, but I'm just taking less loft. So I have a nine iron in my hand, looking to hit a little bit lower. So I'm gonna pick a lower spot on that hill that I wanna try to bump it into. I'm gonna get a little bit more rollout than I did with the wedge and a little less spin. And it's gonna kind of ride up that hill and hopefully die off and roll to the hole. Okay, lastly, my third option is to play some sort of wood or hybrid to try to put it up there. Now, most people probably ask, why not just use a putter? A wood or a hybrid just gives you a little bit more of a pop at the beginning to give you some speed and momentum to make it all the way up that hill. It's gonna be a pretty big swing with a putter to try to roll it all the way up, so we need a little bit of a pop up in the air and a little bit of acceleration to try to get us all the way up to the top of that hill. Let's see how I can play this wood shot, and then we'll compare all three when we get up onto the green. So I'm actually taking my putting grip here, and I'm making a pretty elongated putting stroke with this fairway wood. pretty good collection of three shots there. Three different options, not much difference for, for me. And you might find that there's not much difference for you either. Now, the furthest ball away is actually the wedge shot that I told you all that I preferred, so I may have to reassess how I play that shot on number 14. But the key is to figure out what you're most comfortable with and what's gonna get you closest proximity to wherever the hole is on this green so that you can ensure you have the 